Bring it to your right, Mr. B. Are we rolling there, Benny? All right, Benny, you here with me? All right. <laughs> this, is, this, this next little video is for you, JD. It's for you, and you know who you are. <laughs> and this is also for all, for all of the uh, naysayers. It's like, why did I cover up the fridge? <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you. Let's go. We're back on the Beneteau 393, and it is lovely, lovely, lovely. Why do we, why do we call Benny Benny? It's because he loves the Beneteau. He is all about the bee. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm Captain Kev and he's Benny. And this is Refits and Renovations. Welcome back. This is a very special episode that I wanted to record just for JD on Liveaboard Lifestyles. If you haven't been on Liveaboard Lifestyles, it's a phenomenal group page on Facebook. Check it out. They do some great, we had a great conversations there. We talk about life, living aboard, relationships, fishing, and oh, by the way, countertops. And also for the other folks there on uh, <laughs> that were freaking out from the last post, I didn't cover up the refrigerator. It's okay. It's okay. The cupboard is safe. It's okay. Storage was not lost. It's coming back. Look, we got a hole. There you go. It's okay. And the hatch. I still have the hatch. It's okay. Fantastic. See? Woohoo! It's it's gonna be okay. But I wanted to show <laughs> I wanted to show all of you. I, I accepted a challenge from JD who claimed that this is really hard, that this is for carpenters. It's not for carpenters. I'm telling you. I'm going to show you, you can have three tools and you can do this and it's really only one tool. The rest are just a knife, a glue gun, and some a little bit of intelligence. So I guarantee anybody watching this can do this because if I'm stupid and I'm as useless as I normally am, you're going to be fine. There we go. Okay, so we've, we've removed the hatch because I'm going to go back. Now, just for those who freaked out before, I'm going to let you see what it looked like. Okay, so but before you got to remember, we had we had the flexible panel. And you're gonna say it's cut it's cut i did that because it's demo demo there's no demo i didn't take the faucet out right but okay so we've got carrera marble look right we got carrera marble Ta -da! fantastic we can do that it looks gorgeous and hey jd how hard was that my friend just saying if i can do it one-handed then we're gonna take this one out you can even use it as a floorboard look holy cow if you wanted it to what about if you don't want white how about sunstone it's got brown for those of you who like brown, because I know there's a lot of people that like the wood, right? We gotta have the wood. Oh, how about that? You kidding me? We've got the neutrals, we've got a little blue, we got some rust, we got some green. That's gorgeous. But if you want to go super contemporary, boom, baby! How about that? How about Panda Marble? Panda Marble is five thousand dollars for a four by eight sheet, just for the material. Five thousand bucks. How about we could do this entire galley for Five hundred dollars, if not maybe a little less. Okay, JD. And like I said, this is this is no demo, no demo. Did I say no demo? Well, no demo. Here we go. So we had to make a cut to get around the the the, the faucet there, and there we go. We're in, and it's just like it was before. But we have the template on, and I'm going to show you how to make this template. In fact, we'll just show you how to make it right now. Okay, I said I was going to show you how to do that right now. All we did, we just took off the old the, the original template that I was going to make that I did because I got to show you how to make that template, don't I? So we covered up the refrigerator or the storage unit or whatever. So in order to correct that and make everybody at peace, we're simply going to take, take it out. Look how easy that was. So we take it out and we put it down and we're going to take our template material. We're going to take our template material that Benny's sitting on some a minute ago, but I'm going to do this really quickly because it's not really hard. The tools you need in order to make uh, to install your countertops are a cutting device. It can be scissors. Cutco sizzler, scissors are phenomenal. This kitchen, the kitchen shears, those are awesome. But just a, you can score it with a standard knife. This is like four dollars maybe at the big box store, something like that. And then your handy dandy glue gun. Every crafter has to have one. We're crafty. Yes, we are. We're sailors. We have to be crafty. And then we're going to use a saw which is outside, but you may need a screwdriver, but you don't have to have a power screwdriver. You don't, because when you take the hinges off of this hatch, they, they come in two parts, the female part and their male part. And the male part 
fits in. I don't have to explain that to anybody, do I? And one, so you do, uh, the female goes underneath, the male goes through. That way, you don't have to worry about having groove lines and stuff. But seal it up with silicone afterwards, and you're fine. You can get them at, at Max Marine or Pro Marine or, oh gosh, any expensive marine store, you can find them. So there's that. So we've already done that. I don't think I need to explain how to unscrew a, a hinge. But if I do, comment below. Hit like, subscribe, and comment below and tell me I need to teach you how to do that. So we've got the template material. And you see the edge here. This edge, we're going to line up the edge of the tem template material directly in line. I mean, right flush with the hatch edge. And we're going to glue it down. Just as a don't worry, don't worry, guys. It's temporary. It's just hot glue. It's not permanent. It's okay. So we're going to hot glue this down, put it in the middle. That's fine. Now I like I like to do this because the spider webs come. And we'll put it down, and I want to have it right on the edge, and we're good to go right there. Now notice I went past the, the line here so that our next piece can go down here, and our next piece goes right there. We do that all four edges, all four edges, and we want references to the edge of the opening. Why is that important? Our hatch is smaller than our opening. That's why. And so we have, we have approximately a saw blade width all the way around this perimeter. So when we cut this, if we cut directly on the edge of our template, it's going to be a saw blade width, which then we'd be able to use what we cut out as the top to the hatch. Does that make sense? Everybody say yes. Okay, good. So we got that. So we'll actually be able to use this. So I've already gone ahead and gluing just, just strips like together. Gluing strips together is really hard, but if you need me to go through that, I'll do it again. It's okay. But we glue strips together, and then I put little, I put covers, but we have this, because you notice squares don't work. We have to have these rounded corners. So in order to do that, I put little pieces of, of tab, of template material, across the areas of that are the rounded, and then I took the hatch, and I put it down, and lo and behold, we drew a line. Have you ever traced something before? JD, maybe? Have you ever traced it and cut it out? It works pretty darn gone well, and it's not hard. You don't have to be a carpenter to do that. So we trace the lines, and now we know exactly where to cut the corners with our saw, okay? So what we don't, and it doesn't have to be perfect, not yet. We'll cut these corners out with a, with a knife, and that way we can get our saw down, but we'll put it on our actual piece. So the piece goes in, bada bing, oh, bada bing, and bada boom. All right, so we got our piece down. Over. You can hear the difference, right? At least maybe you can. I don't know. So now we'll put our template back in place, and we're going to glue our template in place. We're going to turn it upside down, glue it right here. Hello. There we go. Right here. And here. All right, so we got that. We got our little uh, spill catcher there. Put it back in place. Make sure it's against the against our reference points here, there, and here. It's all nice and flat and right. We got it. Perfect. That's our. These are our spacers because this is our line for the actual hatch. So we're gonna take. Now we're gonna take it out because we never want to cut inside the boat because of dust and debris and all that kind of nasty stuff, right? But sometimes you have to. But not today. Not today. Okay, so we got our template. We've, we've got it mounted to our piece because we're gonna cut the hatch in it. We've only got a very fine one eighth of an inch tolerance. Now, if you don't know what tolerance means, it doesn't mean dealing with your children. It means with dealing with a product that can be temperate. But nonetheless, we're gonna make that with what's called a multi-tool. A multi-tool is simply a saw that oscillates forward and back. And you don't have to use just that. You can use uh, any other saw and do the main cuts. And, if, and once it's done, but we can't use a router for most of the people that, that understand what a router is, because the, the blade's too wide, and we would make the template, the, the outside would be good, but the inside that covers the hatch, because we don't want to cover the refrigerator. Oh my God, it would be too small. So we're going to make it just right. Come on with me. Okay, now we always, we always cut outside the boat, because we don't want to create dust, and that kind of thing, because ladies don't like that. So I'm going to freehand this. You don't have to freehand it, but I've done it a little bit. And it's okay if you mess up, it's okay. And I've got, an, I've got an example. If something does get messed up, it's not the end of the world. Caulk 
is your friend. So in this, now remember, sacrifices have to be made if you're not going to demo and do a renovation. So here we go. Now for those of you who are going, how does he do that? Uh, it's, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I'm using the side of the blade against the elevated template and it sort of acts as my guide. If I go inside the, if I start cutting the template, I know I'm going too far to the left. If I don't, if I, then I can actually see if I'm gonna be going outside the template. Really hard, it's so like coloring within the lines and we've all done that in kindergarten. So here we go. So we finished the cutting our hole, we've got our hatch cover, and we've got our hole for our countertop. But I'm gonna try and smooth out these edges once we get the product down, I'll put the router around it and make it perfect, okay? Let's get inside. Okay, so we've cut our hole. Now we're gonna trim up the edges so that the hatch fits all nice and neat and everything's good and flush and perfect. We don't need our template anymore because now the bottom of the, the hatch is actually gonna be our guide to anything. So say goodbye to your template. What are you gonna do about the glue? We get the glue off with the razor blade, it's not that hard. And you don't have to worry about scratching the surface because you're just, all you're gonna do is go straight there and you're gonna go just wiggle it at a 45 or less degree angle, get underneath the glue, just get underneath the glue enough to where you can pull the glue off. I would suggest that anybody, if you're cutting on the, the surface of the flexible panel, go ahead, wherever you're going to be cutting, put delicate uh, painter's tape, delicate surface paint, or just the blue tape is fine too, but put the tape down. But since I didn't have any with me today, I didn't do that. So it's just to, pre it's just to prevent scratches and so forth. That's fine. Uh, once again, for those people who have to have things absolutely perfect, handy dandy trim router. We're going to use a one, eight, a one quarter inch shank with a bottom bearing flush router bit. If you don't know what that is, you can rent one at Home Depot. They'll hook you up. Hey, come over here. Okay. I mean, that's flush. That's right, dead gum flush. Now the corners, we're gonna go and use the router because you know the blade is straight and whatnot. We're gonna router the corners just to make sure that they're perfectly fine. And then we'll do the same thing for the top. And it's gonna be great. And everybody that was so worried we're gonna not have access to the refrigerator, you can rejoice, have a beer, champagne. This is a handy dandy tool, you don't have to have one. If you don't have one, that's okay, get a sander. You can do the same thing. You just sand inside, inside, no big deal, it's okay. We're gonna say, okay, we're gonna put our little, little hinges back where they go, right? Ta-da! This is just a dry fit to see, is the hatch gonna work? Okay, JD, I'm betting you 20 bucks this works. First time. Ready, we check on it? Okay, good, here we go. Test run number one. Do we have clearance, Clarence? We have clearance, Clarence. Ooh, baby, look at that. We got, and it works, it works. So we're gonna go ahead and put this, we're gonna put these down. Now, all right, but do we have a cover for the hatch? What we cut out is flush, except for the corners. The corners with a little bit, little bit of edges right there, but guess what we're gonna use to fix that? The router, right? We'll do the same thing we did with the outside as the inside, and it will fit like a globe. Perfect. Okay, for everybody that wants to know, how do I get to the hatch? Here's the hatch. Here we go, see, it's open. However, I understand, it's all the way down. There we go. You can have some hinges that you, you allows you to not have any hinges shown, okay? So, I don't know what this is for, this is for the sink, but you can also take the other hinges out, you can put them on top, I don't like them. So, I don't have the hidden hinges in it right now, but I'm going to. So right now, that's as far as I can open the hatch. You wanna show them, Benny? And we're gonna be able to hide those hatches so it doesn't, everything just stays exactly the way it is. So I'm not gonna put the entire piece permanently down just yet. Okay, we're back up top in the cockpit. It's a little hot down there as we said, but it's finished. You got a chance to see, we have access to the hatch. That's the most important thing, right? And also the steps, they're easy. You can do it, my son can do it, 16 years old, he can do it. That being fact, said, go through the steps one more time. Use the template material that we provide you. Get your own hot glue gun, 7.95. Get a, rent a, a saw and just get a scissors or you saw me just use a blade. There's not a lot to it. Once you cut those holes out, if you need to smooth the edges off, just use sandpaper. No big deal. Do it by hand until it's, until it's the way you want it to look. Put it down, make sure it's all nice and tight, and caulk it. Now, if you need a 
if you need instructions on how to caulk, there's lots of YouTube videos on that. I'm not going to do that for you because that's not important right now. What is, what is important is that you understand you can do it. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars to have somebody come in there and do that. If I were to do this entire boat for all the countertops, I'd probably charge $1,500 to $3,000 depending on how much product is going in. You can do the whole thing by yourself for 500 bucks or less depending on the size of your boat. Not to mention the showers. We've got a great video for showers coming up. We've got a single wrap. I don't even want, I don't want to spoil it for you. Don't even want to spoil it. In the Benito's, Benny's favorite, right? Yeah. That's right. Benny loves Benito's. They all have that same molded shower. I've got something special just for you guys. And JD, by the way, I think you're a great guy. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I wanted to make sure that even you and I can sit down and have a beer and we'll talk about how you can make me have another challenge or anybody. If you want to have a challenge, send it on. And everybody say thank you, JD, for this video because it's to him.